Hey you. Do you want to make Super Mario 64 bloopers? No! Okie dokie. Great. In this video I will teach you how to make wonderful videos using the tools necessary to make it happen. Ooh. Step 1. Let's get the programs. To be able to produce a Super Mario 64 bloopers video you will need specific programs. Yes. Project 64, Mario 64 Movie Maker, Vegas Pro, Fraps or OBS Studio to take the footage, and Gary's Mod, a sandbox game where you do whatever you want. With all these programs we can continue with the tutorial. Hey, that was pretty good, get ready. Step 2, how to use it. First, let's start with Project 64. It's very simple to use. Time to show the basics. Open the game. There you are. Here you can move around and go far. Above there are options that will make drop your jaw. Okay, to use cheats you press Ctrl C or look for the system bar. You will only have the base game cheats. You can add cheats here. Moon jump cheat code for example. Custom your graphics. Custom your gamma pad or keyboard buttons. In the settings you need to disable the option to hide advanced settings. And then you will be able to use load state and save state. The other options are related to plugins and the amount of RAM the game uses. I recommend setting it to 8MB which is the maximum the N64 could run at the time. To use load state or save state are also located in the system tab when opening the game. You will be able to use save states without any problem. This is how we use it to use different eyes. <laughs> now time to use the Mario 64 Movie Maker. You can use this feature with Project 64. The main function is to be able to freeze the game camera. Don't worry if this happened. You can use the cheat code made by sn 64 eyes. This will fix this problem. This only happens on some levels. With Mario 64 Movie Maker you can also remove the game HUD. And also use all the animations that are composed in the game. Just press Mario's crouch button and the animation will work. In Mario 64 Movie Maker you can put addons that can help you with different things. Metal Composer addon can help you to change the keyframes of the animation in game. You can also change the speed of the game animation. And the twister addon. With this addon you can spin the character. <laughs> Wait my little kid, there's more. You have to know how to edit a video. Oh. This is why I recommend using Vegas Pro. Right here you will see some tabs that will help you mess around with transitions, VFX set and even texts. And now the most important, here you will see the timeline. To create audio and video tracks, just click the right button and select both. But here's a tip, there is a shortcut to create these tracks, just by pressing the specific keyboard buttons and you create the audio and video tracks. Now, let's talk about pan and crops. This is the way you move the videos on the screen. If problems like this happen, you will just need to select the 16 to 9 resolution to leave the video at the correct resolution. This will fix the problem. Or if you want to make some exaggerated funny scene you can click on don't keep the resolution aspect and it will stretch the image. You can also use keyframe to position an image in one place and it will move to another. To create text it's very simple. Just go to the media generator and look for the legacy text category and you can move a sample text and customize it however you want. Put different font to make it better. Now, to make footage you can use Fraps Recorder. It is very simple to use with keyboard shortcuts. You will notice that with Fraps open, the top corner shows numbers, indicating that Fraps is working. When you are recording it turns red. Now to remove the background chroma key colors. Just look in the video FX tab for chroma key and select the background color and adjust it, to make sure it will works. You can stretch the character a little to make it look old style. Now you remove the background color, great. You can now put a different background, just screenshot the place with fraps. Place it correctly.
And now there is the result. Oh, hello! It's me, Mario! Congratulations! Now you know the basics of how to make a Super Mario 64 blooper. It's a Mario time! But there is more. Aren't I done yet? There's more? Step 3. The ideas. I know, it's not easy to come up with ideas, but don't worry my precious little creature. You just need to base it on just one idea, and then you explore this idea as much as possible. You can make a script. I recommend doing this as it will help you create your videos without any problems. But if you run out of ideas try to make a parody of something. Oh. Quick reminder before us continue. Nintendo's Gary's Mod Addons are unfortunately being excluded from the workshop. But do not worry, we have a Discord server where you can join and get your addons back. Step 4. Let's put the idea into practice. Now that we have an idea for a parody, here's an example of what you can do. <laughs> WTF did I just watch? Congratulations. Now you know how to make Super Mario 64 bloopers. Yippee!